in today's video we are going to be checking out two trek bikes the excalibur 8 and the dual sport 1 the 29 by 2.2 inch tires are mounted on Bontrager Covey tubeless ready rims. The front hub is a Boost 110 with a through axle. The suspension in the front is an air suspension with a rebound adjuster and a lockout. The front brakes are hydraulic brakes which is a 180mm disc from Shimano. The brakes and gear shifters are mounted on separate units. This is mounted on a 720mm alloy handlebar. This is mounted on an 80mm stem. The drivetrain is a 1x12 with a SRAM Eagle rear derailleur. and a SRAM 30 tooth crankset in the front. The rear disc brake is a hydraulic disc brake with a 160mm disc. The back wheel has a boost 114 hub and a quick release. Plastic pedals with clips and two accessory mounting points are standard. The seat and the hand grips offer good comfort too. The internal routing of the cables ensures the bike has nice clean lines. This aluminium alloy frame bike weighs in at about 14 kgs. With a price of 91,500, this is the Trek Excalibur 8. The 740 seat tires are mounted on double wall alloy rims. The front fork is from SR Suntour and has 90mm of travel. This does not come with a lockout. The 21 speed drivetrain has a Shimano Altis rear derailleur and a Shimano Turney front derailleur. Braking is provided by dual 160mm mechanical disc brakes from Tektro. The brakes and gear shifters are in an integrated unit. And this is mounted on a 620mm alloy handlebar. This is mounted on an 80mm stem. The internal routing of the cables ensures the bike has nice clean lines. Plastic pedals are standard as are two accessory mounting points. Quick release levers are available on both the wheels. The hand grips and the seat ensure riding comfort. This aluminium frame bike weighs in at about 14 kgs. With a price of 35,200, this is a Trek Dual Sport 1.
So that was the, those were the bike specs for the Trek Excalibur 8 and the Trek DS1. Now you saw me wearing this. I'm gonna be I'm gonna go home now and do a quick review of this. Give my honest opinion of what I think about this and also share some buying links if I can find them. back home and I hope like me all you guys after you go out do make it a point to have a bath and then get in uh, and do other stuff at home let's have a quick chat about this the go reusable mask I have used it for a few days and I find this quite comfortable this is quite a decent mask and well if you're looking for a mask Head down to the link below and buy one of these. Until next time, safe ride everyone.